I got a fever for one week without stopping. And then my my breath started getting short. I cannot, I cannot breathe. My lungs, it wasn't working. Rush offers a series of heroic treatments that are just not employed routinely in the care of patients. One of those is ECMO. So we're taking patients that are on the brink of death, putting them on ECMO, and then later watching them sing songs or walk in the hospital. ECMO, ECMO, stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. It's basically a simplified heart-lung machine similar to what they use in the operating room for heart surgeries. We're able to provide a machine that takes over the work of the heart and the lung and is able to essentially save a person from dying. Um, and we're able to work on the patient and able to get them through um, a very critically ill phase. Our success rate is based on national average. We are at 20% above the national average in saving patients with VV ECMO, which is a specialized form of ECMO for supporting the lungs. Treating patients now with COVID pneumonia and COVID lung problems, that expertise is being brought into play. My family told me that when they told me that I need, I need a machine and that they needed somebody, somebody to say yes to, to connect it, uh, they was scared. It was the only option I had. So they, they told me they, they had to do whatever they, they can to, to, to help me out. Everything, the machine was everything. Yeah, without the machine, I don't know what happened. Our physical therapists, occupational therapists, and speech therapy teams, I'll see them then to work on eating, uh, their self-care, getting up out of the bed, and when they're ready, even walking in the halls. And that allows us to have long-term results that are fantastic because the recovery process is not just the human body, it's the human spirit and the soul. I believe that everything is mental, you know, even if you know you are connected to the machine, you have to love the machine because uh, it's the one that gives you another chance to live. For our first ECMO patient that was COVID positive, that was in severe respiratory distress, did well with our ECMO support and we were able to take the breathing tube out where he was able to rehab and eat as well. And uh, we were able to finally get the ECMO machine off. So thanks to the machine, I'm right here. I'm ready to go home today. And my family is waiting for me. Dr. Tubachnik, part yeah. of the ECMO team. Thank you. You Thank look you. great. I just want to check this site. Yeah, you're ready. This is good. Okay. You're ready. Good. You have questions? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. God bless you. No. You guys are the, the angels, so I, I really appreciate you guys. Aww. All of you guys did for me. It's our pleasure. You go out there, you live a full life for us, okay? It's a new, completely new life. Absolutely. Your lungs look perfect on x-ray. We'll keep an eye on you with the lung doctors, okay? Yeah. Okay. This is Dr. Camino. Hi. She's the Hi. she's the lung doctor who called us. She's Hi. the one who called us and said you needed ECMO. I can't believe I'm meeting you for the first time, really. <laughs> oh my God. Can I shake your hand? No, I mean, oh my thank you. God. Thank you, really appreciate all of you. All of you guys, oh my thank God, you. I can't believe it. I cannot believe this is, this, you are the same person. I would attribute the successes that we have with these patients to the commitment and passion of our team. The ability to be able to intervene and save a human life and to be able to interact with that patient after they have recovered from this, that moment when you have a patient who reaches out to you and says, thank you, that is my proudest moment. There's technology, but there's the emotion that goes into caring for these patients. There's a philosophy of how we're gonna take care of each one of these patients and a desire to push the envelope. It's our culture and who we are, and there's no better way to see that than in this program.